What is going on guys? It has been a while since I uploaded a video. I actually got sick. I still have a cough and the cough was lingering for such a long time and it was just annoying making a video. It really was. Let's actually go through this slowly so we can move through this. I spent a lot of time um, just recovering and um, I'm actually doing a video called Monk Mode. Now, Monk Mode is not my idea, of course. I think uh, I got the idea from Iman, so you guys can check out his video. Um, I might even react to it, actually. It'd be a good idea to react to it. But I'm heavily, heavily going into Monk Mode on the later half of the year. So right now it's April, so I've done a little bit of it so far because the protocol is literally... I'm going to make a video about it tomorrow so you guys can see the actual protocol and what I'm doing. Goal for me is to lose probably about 40 pounds... Um, and you guys are going to see like I've I, and you guys have noticed if any of you guys are fans of mine, you guys have noticed that I've had like a an up and down struggle, let's say, with sticking to a diet and exercise routine. I can make excuses and say it was because of business or because of this or because of that. Truth is, every single time I did it, body was sore. <laughs> After that, I just didn't want to stick to it long enough. I wasn't dedicated. I was making more excuses and I just have to show up every single day. So one thing I did notice about myself and my personality is, if I'm not doing it every single day, it doesn't, it doesn't hold enough emotional value and weight. I have to do it every single day, even if it's just cardio, even if it's just a light workout, it doesn't matter. So I checked out a, a Rogan podcast with a guy named Faraz, who was the trainer for George St. Pierre GSP. And he was like, he, he's like, don't lift so heavy that you can't go back the next day. And that really, really stuck with me because I was like, okay, if I can do that, if I can just go nice, like, you know, I need, I need some, some damage to happen to the tissues to grow. Right. But my goal isn't to get ripped and gigantic yet because I used to be back in the day. You know, you guys can probably tell I'm back big fucking shoulders and I have big soccer legs. That was back in the day. And then I just started eating like shit and just never really stopped. And I'm starting to notice certain things happening with my body because I'm 32. I'll be 33 in June. And I don't want to be chunky anymore. Uh, so what I want to be doing is I want to be posting my um, progress with basically how my life is going um, as my personal brand and put that on Instagram. So you guys can follow my Instagram. It's just Kyle Johnson. Um, I will I will link it in the description box for you. I want to show like what I burned for that day. And if anybody wants to follow monk mode with me, you guys can. Okay. So I don't want to make this video too long, but that's just kind of an update of where the channel's going and what it, what it is. This is what the channel is going to be like more often than not. But I want to talk more about monk mode and things that really improve my life, um, business stuff, how I make money online, how to help you guys with breakups and all that stuff. Right. So that's the idea. That's where I want to go. I like this style. And I also want to do talking head videos. There's a ring light right there. I want to do that as well. So the last step in my journey has been getting back into really good shape. I've tried carnivore. And it was really good. At the end of the day, I think I just need to stick to calories in, calories out, simple stuff. Don't overeat. It is super easy for me to overeat because I'm at home. So what you guys see me is just, it's my place, right? Ordering food became a very, you know, regimented thing I did. And I just got to stop. And for me, being extremely restrictive and sticking to basically becoming obsessed with this goal. So basically I have two obsessions right now getting back in shape and growing my brand. And one thing I know that will grow my brand and get you guys to trust me even more and stick it by sticking to my word and sticking to, and just looking good, looking healthy, looking vibrant, <laughs> raising my vibration literally. Because when you have crappy food and you have a crappy energy, uh, you're not sleeping very well. You know, you can't be at a high vibration like you could if your body was, was, uh, in, 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 in a better state. So that's what I need to do to get to the next level of my business. I already know I can feel it. I already know that, that, that the bad diet, the bad exercise routines are holding me back. Um, I'm going to be doing strict monk mode, which is just basically gym, um, healthy, healthy as I can eating, right? Like today, I just, just now I had a chicken Caesar salad is perfect. But then, um, I'm not going to turn down too many things until a certain point because I have to create the habit. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video is like the identity identity. I don't know why I do this, but I'd put like 
I, D, and D is, you know, capitals, but then the rest is, I don't know. I don't know why I've always done that when I was, since I was a kid, but identity. So the identity is basically of a, of a person who's in shape. I need to become that person. I will talk about that in the video tomorrow. So why you need to say yes to your breakup. Okay. Why you need to understand that letting go is the key, right? Saying yes to your breakup, saying that you're not going to be controlled or manipulated by the emotions of your breakup anymore. It's a super important and freeing thing. And that's why you have to learn how to let go. Always look at this chart, guys. Make it your make it a part of your life. I don't care what you have to do to do it. Just do it. Make it you can even print this out. Um, I have the 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 files in my free my free Discord, which is in the description box below. So if you got just just for quick announcements, besides the one I just did, free Discord, Better Man Project, Mentorship Program, what we talk about relationships, money, attraction, et cetera. Join the email list. It's in the description box below. Check the pinned comments and the books are out. So there's two books out right now. Um, I'm haphazardly working on the third book to complete the trilogy. So I got these two. So this one, this one is the breakup book. It's very simple. It's very thin. Uh, there's zero fat in this. It's just what to do when you go through a breakup. This is called chasing excellence. Okay. This is a little thicker, right? It's got a little bit more meat to it. However, it is uh, the best way that you can start. They're introductory. Okay. So why you have to say yes to your breakup. The biggest thing that most people do. So I'm going to talk about the things I see the most. When people ask me about breakup advice and things to do, they are looking for an outcome. They want this to happen in their life. I don't, let's just put it visually. They want this to happen. But in order to get this, they have to detach from wanting it. Wanting is a desire, a desire energy. So if you guys are looking on the screen right now on the big chart of truth and justice, this is the energy of desire, which is not good because it means that you lack or you are searching for something that is outside of yourself. So you guys are looking to get an X back or you're looking to, this is why people, most people don't win the lottery or they don't get, you don't get nice things. <laughs> you don't deserve it. So when you're at a high vibration, when you're doing things for the world, acting out of love, love is the ultimate emotion, right? You want to be acting out of love. Look where love is on this. On this, It's right in the top, right in the purple. So when you're serving other people, you're helping other people, you're, you're putting, you're giving to the universe, which is your choice. Okay. It's free will to do so. You don't have to, but most people don't. And look at where their lives are. Now you can sit here and condemn billionaires if you want to, or multimillionaires, but most self, most millionaires after like 2000, I think 10 are self-made. Please Google that stat. Most of them, especially today are self-made. I know that to be a fact. And the reason why is they are giving to the world. They're giving a lot. They're not sitting here, you know, taking, 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 take, and you, you, sorry, you get what you give. And when you give out of love, you truly want to care. You truly want to help people. So I have a very high ticket program and this is not an advertisement for it, but the high ticket program is called coach school. And basically I teach people to do what I do. It's, high, it's expensive. But the reason why is because I know in the first year you can make back what you paid for it and then some easily. And the reason why is because they are giving out of love. I already know exactly what to do. They are giving out of love. Okay. They're, uh, they understand that in order to get what you want, you have to give people what they want. So if you have a fat loss program, for example, right? So I'm going to the gym every single day. So imagine me being in the situation that I am. I see a Facebook ad or something like that and bam. And then I get on the phone with the other person and they're like, Hey, there's an extreme version of this, or there's a lighter version of this, which is something I'm kind of working on. You can take it. One costs more, one costs less. One gets you the results faster. One gets you the results slower. Which one would you take? And it de just depends on where you're at mentally. Going back just a sec, say yes to your breakup. Well, if you think about that same energy, the loving thing to do is to let them go. But it's really hard to see things that way when you're in these um, states of being, not courage. Okay. Courage, it's pride and below. Courage is a good thing, but it's really hard to be like, okay, I got to let my ex go or I got to let go of, 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 the shit I love or the people I love. Yes. Yes, you do. Because if you desire something outside of yourself, it means that it emotionally controls you. You want your ex. Most of you guys watching my channel want your exes back. Most of you want to learn or I want to say, I want to say manipulate because a lot of you will ask, how can I get this person to love me? How can I get this person to want me? Okay. 
but that is manipulation. That's not love. The relationship got to where it was because of the things that happened in it. So you have to learn from those mistakes. So detachment is the most attractive energy you have. And you guys can, it's a choice. It's a total choice. Okay, at the end of the day, right, you have to understand that all of this stuff is a choice. If you're sitting here going, I need to get my ex back or I really want my ex back or I uh, want whatever outcome you want, you have to choose to let all of it go and just say, I'm just going to focus on the process. So I don't want you guys to think there isn't a process to, to getting things. If you want to be rich or you want a very good relationship, there's a process to that relate to, to getting those goals, so becoming attached to them. I need this or I'm incomplete. It's a total paradox and it's hard to understand because if you, but if you guys think about it, think about the, the, the man or woman who walks into a room and everyone pays attention to them. They don't, a lot of them don't care to be in a relationship. This happens to people when they're already in a relationship. A lot of the time, sometimes you guys would be in a relationship and you, you, the room is surrounding you. You, you know, you might go into a room, might go to a party, for example, and you're having a great time. And everything you say makes everyone laugh. You're in that pocket of energy. You're in the zone. So a lot of people don't, they don't understand. And some of you have never been there. So you're not going to completely understand what that even feels like. Detachment and not caring about what the room thinks or what your ex thinks. Oh my God, the amount of questions I get about what will my ex think if I do this? Somebody asked a question not long ago in the, in the, in the free discord. Uh, and they said, uh, what if I released this song? What would my ex think? If you're watching this video, I'm not trying to out you. It's just the energy. Like so many people think that way. What will my ex think if I go out, go out with new people? Who fucking cares? Seriously. Your ex left. Like if you got dumped. Now, if you dumped them and blah, blah, blah. That's a whole different video. But if you got dumped and you're like, what, what, what my ex, you're a total prisoner. You're a prisoner. That's what you're acting like. Okay. You literally are so worried about what they're going to feel towards you that you can't even live your life anymore. That's called imprisonment, <laughs> emotional imprisonment. So you must detach, okay? And the reason why, so, is, so you can let the real version of you shine, which is again, love, right? Actually, I wrote it down here too. Love is just love. Love is unconditional, okay? You can love someone, but not be with them. I never understood this for a really long time until I started doing this work. But this is the most difficult thing for people to actually truly understand because most people can't detach at all. So it's really hard for people to understand that love is that that's what you are, but letting go of it so that they can be with somebody else. Oh, it's real hard to understand that. It's actually hard to accept that, but that is the true nature of what love is because you can totally love someone or love something and let them go, let them be. And I'm sure anybody who's a parent in this, that might be watching this video understands this because there's a point where you have to let your child go and live, live in, in the world. That's a great example of it. So people that are in relationships are trying so hard to get the person back usually, but you're not realizing that sometimes it's not supposed to be that way because love is not attachment. Okay. So as you guys can see right here, I put this life is not forever. Why did I write that? Okay. So love is not attachment and attachments keep you emotionally shackled. So why I wrote this life is not forever is because so many of you guys are living in an imprisonment mindset, victim mindsets. This is happening to me. This is happening to me. I can't believe this is happening to me. My ex is with this person now. Oh no, my life is over. This life is temporary and you're supposed to live it to the fullest every single day. And so many of you guys are worried about what your ex is thinking or what someone else outside of yourself is thinking. And you should only worry about what you think and what you feel. There's healing that you need to do if you feel this way. Life is not forever. Now, we can all sit here and argue that there is an afterlife. There may be, there may not be. I believe there is. I believe there's another dimension that we go to. But you guys, if you guys don't believe that, that's fine. I'm not going to try to sway you. The thing about our world today is people try to, people are so polarized. It's like, if you don't believe that, then you must be this. It's like, no, we can have a conversation about this, right? So the next thing is the meaning is only what you give it. So this is something that I learned um, 
when I was learning to coach throughout the way because there was a point where I was tired of coaching people. And the, the reason why is because I was assigning so much meaning to what I was doing. <clears throat> and I would get upset that people weren't listening to me, right? <clears throat> so what I had to understand and realize was that sometimes people are not ready. They may look, they may taste, but they're not completely ready to change yet because they're not ready to let go of that's the old identity and this is the new identity. They're not ready to make this transition yet because it takes a completely different set of choices that you make every single day. This is choices. Your identity is simply your choices. This is why, again, I know that my next step and my next evolution in my business that you guys see here, businesses, I should say, is to get back in shape because it's honestly, guys, it's something that consumes my thoughts all the time. And then what I was doing, I was, I would eat food to make myself feel better about those choices. And it just becomes this, this constant cycle, right? And it's just emotional eating at that point. So the meaning is only what you give it. If you guys think that your life is over because you went through a breakup, that's what, that's what your life will look like. And usually there's a, a, a natural progression to breakups that happens, which is I don't need my ex anymore. Okay. I don't need my ex anymore. And then I've, I've seen this even in the free discord as it's been, I, the guys will say, I, I like my life now as a, as a single person. And even if it's just a temporary feeling, because sometimes it is some guys, sometimes guys will say that because in the moment, that's what they're feeling, right? This is why you need to practice stoicism. So stoicism is basically the acceptance of life as it is, right? Uh, bad things will happen. Stay the same, right? Give less fucks. <laughs> about life as it gets harder. Okay. Yes. Again, you see the process as again, it's like going to the gym, right? Getting a big body. There's going to be plateaus. There's going to be times when you hit uh, a ceiling. So what do you need to do to break through that ceiling? That's the focus. But what a lot of people have is they're, they're a focus on too many things. I learned this from Sam Ovens. So when you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 focuses. This is what most people look like when they're trying to achieve a goal. But then what you're, what you, if you really want to achieve a goal of some kind, you need to have one or two focuses max. So this will be the trajectory of your, of your goal. Okay. So if this is your goal, goal, most people have, okay, I, I want to go to the gym. Okay. I got to keep my friends, uh, friends and family. You know, I got to maintain those relationships. Okay, I got to grow my business. Okay, I got to, um, let's see, I got to send this many emails. Okay, I got to do, and you're distracted, right? So gaming with friends, um, going out on Friday nights, whatever. And there's all of these extra things going on. And then anybody who is over here is going to reach their goal way faster. And maintaining it is easy. So when you are already in good shape, now you don't have to go to the gym every single day. You can just maintain it and you can figure out what it takes to maintain your body, where it, what it is. But I was watching a video not long ago. Basically, this guy says, start with being lean. Being lean in your life will bleed into everything else. Okay. It'll bleed into your business. It'll bleed into your relationships because I got to the point where certain clothes weren't fitting anymore. And I was like, man, like this is gross. That's sort of where my life was going. And I was like, I don't want to be like this anymore. So I got a buddy who was like, hey, man, I'm going to the gym every single day. If you want to go, you can go. Just come. So at night, that's when we go. Even if I'm burning like just 500 calories, I'm not even pressing weights, which is why I do press weights every single time I go. And again, just becoming that person. I know there's going to be some fucking guy that's going to comment in the damn YouTube and be like, this is not the right way. Don't even bother. If that's you, don't bother. I will delete it. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it this way to create the habit and create the identity of going. If you feel like you need to comment on that, just go do it somewhere else. And then I will focus on refining the process, right? Lifting heavier, progressive overload, fasting to cut some fat and whatever, right? But anyway, so I'm focusing on walking and lifting. That's the two things I do, walk and lift. It's like the simplest fucking shit ever, right? 
the biggest breakthroughs I ever had came on the other side of suffering. Suffering is a part of the process. The biggest breakthroughs came from when I was going through a breakup, when I had no money, um, when friends left my life. That's when things changed for me the most. Okay. Because I had to really become introspective and focus on what was going on. It made me focus. And this is the issue. So I think this is the biggest issue that we have in our society today is we are completely distracted. And on top of being distracted, we don't want to face our demons. We're too scared of them. Do you guys know the most common question I have is literally, how do I stop feeling this pain? I get that in the free discord all the time. I get that in my DMs all the time. How can I stop feeling this pain, Kyle? What do I need to do to stop feeling this pain? Nothing. <laughs> you can't. Stop trying to run from the pain. Face it like face it like a fucking man. I understand it hurts. Okay. But if you want to get to the other side, remember, okay, your six pillars, right? They are what make your life. Health, wealth, skills, mindset, social circle, and relationships. And I put a little line here in one of the previous videos that I did for relationships because relationships, you all the other five pillars can, can completely influence relationships, right? So when I was going through this, I wanted mentorship. You guys don't have to do this. It's up to you. You guys can completely do this on your own. But if you want to get to the next level and get there faster, 100% join. Um, Better Man Project is a one-year pro uh, program. Then I have a higher mentorship program. Like I told you, it's kind of it's coach school, but basically you have access to me. Okay, so free Discord. You guys can ask me questions if you join the free Discord. You can ask me questions directly or in the chats. I post you know wins and stuff like that. Better Man Project. We focus on relationships, money, and attraction. And that also includes Money School, right? Money School is here basically, right? And it teaches you how to make money, copywriting, social media marketing, SEO, all that stuff. Social media marketing is not in there right now, but I'm planning on putting it in there. So, um, and then of course we focus on attraction because a lot of you guys, this is this program is for anybody who doesn't give a fuck about getting their ex back, but they want to get to the next level. They want to they want to improve um, on the pillars. So maybe my next book should be called just the Six Pillars. <laughs> okay, but that's basically what I think you guys should focus on. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing these issues here and people are so attached. Okay. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video on monk mode.